Hey guys, what's going on? In this video, I'm going to guide you through the setup process of the Black & Decker air conditioner. So let's dive in. First, here is the kit with all the parts to connect the air conditioner to the window. It comes with everything you need to get started. The only extra thing you will need is a screwdriver. In this case, we are going to set it up horizontally. But if your window is vertical, you can set it up that way too, with the hole facing down. So, this is the window where we are going to set it up. First, you will have to find these plastic pieces that connect to each other to match your window size. There are three pieces, and they give you good flexibility to fit your window size. They go like this. Since this window is very small, I'm only going to use two of the pieces. When setting the pieces, I ran into a little issue. The back piece was covering the hole where the air goes and I couldn't put the front piece alone because it left a gap where the air could escape. This would have made the air conditioner less efficient and let warm air back into the room. To fix this, I measured and then cut the back piece so it fit around the hole properly without blocking it. Now, the pieces fit together snugly with no gaps for the air to escape. To secure the pieces together, the kit comes with a set of screws. You just need to put one screw on top and one at the bottom. This ensures everything stays in place and the setup is tight and secure. The next step is to put these rubber strips along the edge of the window, in the space between the window and the plastic pieces. To attach them, just peel off the backing and stick them along the edge of the window. This helps seal any gaps and ensures that no air escapes. When you open the window, it creates a gap. To fill this gap, there's also a foam strip included. Just place it in the space created when the window is open to ensure no air escapes. This helps maintain the efficiency of the air conditioner, making sure it works as effectively as possible. Next, you have to connect the hose to the plastic piece. I prefer doing this before putting the piece in place because you have to push it a bit to connect them. Once connected, put everything in place and close the window, ensuring the setup is tight and secure to prevent any air leaks. Now, it's time to connect the exhaust hose to the AC using this adapter. Just align the two arrows together and give it a small twist to secure it. Then, slide it from top to bottom into the AC until it clicks in place. And that's it. This is how everything looks at the end. The exhaust tube is very flexible, and you can move the AC easily with it connected. However, I recommend leaving the smallest possible space between the AC and the window because the tube gets hot and that space adds extra heat to the AC. Keeping the setup as compact as possible will improve efficiency. So that is pretty much everything. The AC also includes a continuous water drainage system. However, if you prefer not to use that, there's an internal compartment that collects the water which you can empty manually. Thank you for watching the video. If you enjoyed it, please don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Your support means a lot and it helps me keep creating content.